Let me let me ask you, Jacelo. Like you, you, I mean, you you talked about. It. I think that this is what you know from from what I see. I mean, this is what makes you stand out versus other brands. You know, like you are. I mean, you are a power anyway, but you are. You know, you have been behind the bar, and you are still behind the bar. So that makes you. You know, the the ability that's to one connect of the, people. Yeah. You know, that that's that's your added value. You know, versus a, let's oh, say, definitely, a definitely. standard corporate type of person. Yeah. Correct. Correct. So. What, what I felt, and I, you know, I, I felt it also in my, my corporate career, you know, like there is a bit of, in, in, in the last years, there's been a detachment between, you know, the actual bar and the corporation, you know, there are these big brands that are struggling to get into the key opinion leading outlets, you know, so imagine I'm a, I'm a brand, I'm a big brand, I don't want to mention any name, but, you know, I come to your bar at you know, the, the Rosewood in, uh, in Hong Kong, yeah. and it's like, do you want to do a cocktails with me? And in the old times, it would be, in the old times, I mean, six months ago, <laughs> even, you know, they, they would say, I'm never going to put your brand name on the cocktail. This is what I feel, you know? But not, now, you know, we, we are seeing a lot of collaborations, you know, we've seen, you know, a lot of cross collaboration between top bars in London and Singapore and Hong Kong and New York. And is that changing or is it a going back to brands again or how do you see it? Um, no, right. So the, uh, the close collaborations, the close relation with the head bartender of the group, this is one of the secrets of our brands too. And then also the, uh, the other secret is the, the selection of the, all your importers. Super important. So the two combinations, the formula is like you. So, you know, so sometimes, you know, I, I give you an example that happened three, three days ago, guys, which I'm very, frankly, to say, go live, no problem at all. I had a massive problem with Dante in New York, yeah? Massive, like okay. huge. So I came to the point to tell uh, the guy who's handling, uh, which is not there anymore, and that was April last year right knowing as well i had the feeling that 2018 they were going to be the year right somehow and they won right the best bar in the world 2018 yes. right yeah. that's why in april imagine the, the best bar in the world come out in october in april i approached the guys it's like hey thank you guys to to use mancino let's do something more blah blah blah. they came to me they say like no we want to do a vermouth uh, pop-up blah, blah 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 so we started like this so we started, so I started to bring a few, few 50 best bars, Imcoc from Stockholm, and then Barcelona, Paradiso from Barcelona, to sure. create an American tour, right? But while this, this programming, the guy, which I don't want to say the name, but everybody knows, the guy who was in charge of Naren, who was acting, Naren, so the name, anyway, Naren, yeah. He was acting, was acting as the owner, which is not the owner, so he was actually the head bartender. We start to have very serious personal issues, but not only with me, also with the, with the organization, right? So it came to the point that I canceled the, the party and then I make sure that my rep in New York went to Dante, pick up the bottles of Rinomato and Mancino and remove out from the bar. I said, don't even try to buy Mancino anymore. This is me to the best bar in the world. Can you imagine that? But listen what happened. Somehow this year, no, then, then October, when they won, the owner said somebody else, they came to my party in Qualinus because I, last year in October, I, I made one week a party. Like it was, a, it was a, like a disaster, right? So one of the, the, the two, three guys of the Dante, they came to my party in Qualinus. It was like 300 people, beautiful, all the bars from Asia all get together, like beautiful party. So they came to me, it's like, stay away from me, just like this, huh? just. Don't talk to me, just like this. Very arrogant bastard, which I didn't like myself, to be honest with you, right? But then I said, and then I was like, okay, I said, no, no, Giancarlo, we just want to apologize, but I just want to say your message that something is changing and we were not the one you think about it. It's like, okay. So anyway, COVID, we recon reconnect together. Yesterday, they just opened a larger Dante in West Village, just next to employees yes, only. Sir. Yes, sir. West Village. They, they, they opened yesterday. They put the back Mancino in the, in the largest one. 
They put back Mangino and Dante, the, the old one. And also we're doing a collaboration because they are making an Americano uh, in a can. And we're making collaboration, they're using Mancino Rosso on that. So the damage of the place, it was the particular the bartender that the, even the owners, they didn't know how much damage he was doing with that. But wow. they appreciate, the guys, they appreciate my attitude because I say to them, it's like, guys, I don't care who you are first or the second or thing. For me, it's the relation I need to have with you. So if we've been talking every single day for three months with the Dante group just to make it happen, you want a price? No. You want a price? No. Do you want a me? No. Do you want the whole that kind of things? And that's to go back to your questions. Today is everything to do to be to be a nice bloody person. That's it. Then business. If you're strong on business, that your margin is low, you give a quality. This is the secret of me. That's it. Now the other brands, how they do it? I'm not sure. I'm sure they will put on the, on the table some budget. That which they're going to go and buy these small bars, right? For sure, they're going to do the formula, which is, again, is a 1980s, 1990 formula. Absolutely. Right? For sure that we're going to have that. But for me, I saw that I saw the formula with all my career from 2012 to, to now with Mancino anyway. I've been seeing Diageo and uh, Camparis and, uh, and uh, Brown Formers and William Grants the same way, all the way through anyway. Pernod Ricard, Pernod Ricard, they go there and uh, they buy the bars with the beef eaters and all of that. So it's been there always. They can do a little bit more. I'm not sure. The guys, they're going to go a little bit more quality and then less cheap. And I, 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 That one, I still, still need to figure out. But I think the model, the system for selling it to approach the bars, I think will be the same way. For me, it will be the same way.